More than 40 years ago, one fourth grade teacher wrote her 50 students' names on the blackboard daily to show them how special they were to the world. That kind of gesture has left such an indelible mark on one of her students that to this day, his preferred way to celebrate loved ones is to write their names on a blackboard. Let's face it, all of us have our internal blackboards. What is written on your blackboard today? Share them with AJ as he continues to profile selfless grassroots heroes around the world. These hauntingly captivating stories will change your life. Arlene Noble, Arlene Gordon, Lurleen Grant, Janet Lee, Janet Forbes, Avril Rainford, Pauline Reggio, Pauline Grant, Pauline Mason, Roxy Carty, Sharon Thomas, Jean Walker, Evelyn Garrick, Beverly Clark, Beverly Ranger, Angeline Welch, Eunice e. Welch, Marjorie Brown, Claudia Robinson, Charmaine Morris, Leonie Morrison, Yvette Wade, Sandra Persaud, Andrea Johnson, Sonia Moody, Miriam Joseph, Marcia Douglas, Dawn Rodden, Hyacinth Wheeler, Nelson Holland, Vincent Sutherland, Harold Thompson, Michael Murphy, Aneft Budai, Derrymore Lyon, Everell Crawford, Everell Gallimore, Adin Hay, Sean Service, Lancelot Frey, Glester Mushat, Dwight Perry, Clive Francis, Owen Williams, Robert Gordon, Claude Cousins, Glenford Finley. There's nothing normal about what you've just heard. From memory, I called out the names of every boy and girl who shared grade 4A with me at my primary school in Kingston, Jamaica, more than 40 years ago. Yes, you have heard correctly. I can recall my new details ever since I was three years old. So remembering birthdays, anniversaries, major historical dates and events come quite naturally to me, which most people would have long forgotten. That's why I'm using this platform, the Blackboard Salute, to tell untold stories engineered basically from my memory to spread love, oneness, and gratitude around the world. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Maya Angelou Today's episode is Write to My Name on the Blackboard. Celebrating teachers everywhere. I get a jolt of energy whenever I write somebody's name on a blackboard to honor him or her publicly. That feeling is so magical. As a result, the blackboard has now become my preferred space to offer thank you in its highest form. The intro for this channel has already mentioned the significance of the blackboard. 
but allow me to go a bit deeper here. Thanks in no small part to my fourth grade teacher, Ms. Martin, who celebrated her 50 students by writing one child's name daily on the upper right-hand corner of the blackboard. Rain or shine, throughout the school year, somebody's name would be written on the blackboard until the next day when it was replaced with another student's name. We felt like kings and queens inside that classroom whenever our names were written on the blackboard for that day. Miss Martin, until the day I die, I will never forget how you made me feel inside that crowded classroom in the 1970s. Aside from grade four, being my most favorite of all time, I am surmising that the written names on the blackboard daily are perhaps the main reason why I'm able to recite all those students' names from memory today, when I cannot even remember 10 people's names from college. What I liked the best about Miss Martin's writing student's name on the blackboard was that it was not conditional or transactional. No quid pro quo here. Once you were a pupil of grade 4A, your name would be written on that blackboard. It was my most organic way to determine equity at such an early age. I knew students whose grooming habits were poor, oftentimes no faults of their own. That would have been treated much differently had they been placed in other classes. But inside Miss Martin's class, those unkempt hairs and uniforms didn't prevent them from seeing their names on the blackboard. Seeing Miss Martin in action up close, I felt love. I sensed a passion for educating young minds. I felt empathy, global connection, she saw beauty and hope in her students when many of us didn't see those things. The biggest part of Miss Martin's benevolence was her exceptional way of stepping outside of the box to do something that was not commonplace to highlight her students. Even though it looked and felt weird, she did it without worrying what others might have said about that bold, crazy action. She did not mind being odd, othered, or singled out for writing our names on the blackboard. To my knowledge, she was the only teacher writing students' names daily on the blackboard to affirm them. It was not a regional or national mandate. Miss Martin came up with this celebration of her own volition. What a culture shock! After I later learned that in America, whenever a student's name was on the blackboard, it meant that he or she was in deep trouble. And that was the teacher's way of putting him or her out on blast. Miss Martin Gestures has allowed me to be audacious, to step out in confidence, to do things that have not yet been, that have not yet made their way out on Front Street. It tacitly says that I don't need the approval of others if what I do will impact lives, not only for today, but for generations to come. Whenever Miss Martin wrote her students' names on the blackboard, I believe that she was saying to the world, take notice. You are somebody on a mission. You are celebrated. You are loved. You are recognized. I wanted so badly to share Miss Martin's story with the rest of the world and I got a chance to do so in 2008 
when I embarked on a letter writing campaign to collect letters from fellow educators, heads of state, the monarchy, scientists, among other noted officials throughout the globe, in paying tribute to her stellar service. Needless to say, letters came in abundance from every continent, and yes, even from Antarctica. I will now read excerpts from two of those heartfelt letters. Dear Miss Martin, I too, as a barefoot township urchin, had the tremendous blessing of an exceptional teacher and mentor in my formative years, the Reverend Father Trevor Buddleston. I do not know if I would be who I am today if it were not for him. Teachers can be the most powerful influence for good or the opposite in the lives of young people. You have been a mentor, a guardian angel, a guiding light, a source of understanding and compassion, and have been a profound positive influence in the lives of your pupils. Thank you for being such an outstanding representative of a profession that too often is not given the status nor recognition it deserves. Desmond Tutu, Archbishop of South Africa. Dear Miss Martin, your impact on one of your students has found its way to the highest, driest, coldest, and windiest continent on earth, Antarctica, or as we call it, the ice. It helps remind me of my mentors and people that inspired me to journey beyond limitation. Antarctica is a dream explored by students of science, teachers and adventurers, all hoping to unlock the mysteries of this place and maybe their inner personal secrets. The fading light inspires thoughts of Monet and the Impressionist. There is something soothing about the waning light. Thanks for being an exceptional educator and making a difference in children's lives. And shouldn't that be all our collective calling? To make a difference? Well, you did and continue to do so. Thank you. With gratitude, Stephen K. McMurdo Station, Antarctica. To my fellow classmates of grade 4A, all 49 of you, thank you for coloring my world in one way or the other. My life's journey is made richer because of you. In a nutshell, this channel celebrating authors and writing people's names on the blackboard would not have been possible if Miss Martin's influence had not crossed paths with mine. I'm a little concerned, however, because right now some teachers feel thankless and are on the verge of giving up teaching. I implore you to find a way to reach out to those special teachers today. Sending a note, card, or email telling them what they mean to you. You can even send this web link to encourage them too. Outstanding teachers will never go out of style. Steve Jobs, Miss Martin was Imogene Teddy Hill, who taught him in the fourth grade. I am eager to hear from you about those selfless educators who have shaped your lives. Who was your Miss Martin in school? Please share those special teachers' names with me in the comment box below. So to everyone who has had an excellent teacher, kindly help me celebrate not only Miss Martin, but one-of-a-kind teachers everywhere. Until next time, let's chalk it up. And now, 
this is Chalk Talk, the time to get out your miniature blackboards and chalk, notebooks or phones, and write a short message of gratitude, hope, or apology to someone that you hold dear. Get in the spirit of living, laughing, and loving with abandon. Let's chalk it up. teacher's song of all time, in my view, is the classic To Sir With Love, sung by the adorable Lulu of London, England. But I went ahead and wrote a song especially for my Miss Martin and other selfless teachers. And now invite you to lean in as I play this song for you. Oh, so dear. 